I've been attracted to religious life ever since I was a little girl. But it, it's an invitation from God. It's not, it wasn't something I could choose. And I felt Him call me when I was 12 years old. I was walking through the airport one time, and I, I heard an interior voice say, You will be Christ's bride. And it, it, it repeated again, and I knew I had to do something to respond. So as I began talking with different religious, this one Carmelite nun told me, Allison, you must break the alabaster jar of your life. And she was referring to St. Mary Magdalene in the Gospel when she brought the ointment jar before our Lord and she broke it. And you know, people criticized her and said she could have spent that for the poor, you know, sold it and given the money away. But she wasted it. And a young girl nowadays is criticized for consecrating her life to the cloister and to God. But Jesus deserves that. He, he deserves our all. And so I, I was really struck by breaking the alabaster jar. The only thing I, I didn't understand is I had a desire to be a mother. How could I, I reconcile that? And as I discerned further, I realized that to be religious elevates motherhood. You become a mother of souls. Um, Jesus is your spouse. And St. Teresa of Avila said, to be a woman means to love and to suffer. To be a nun means to love and to suffer more. It's to enlarge your capacity for being a woman. So I realized that to be a woman in the heart of the church is to be a mother in its fullest sense. And so I'm very happy, you know, consecrating my life to God because I found the fullness there. For more information on the religious life, log on to www.ewtn.com slash religious life.